Hello Stratters, I'm Dan and I am about to play the second week of Teamer Tron by this guy. I will put the decklist in the show notes. His name is hard to pronounce. All right, let's do this. All right, MTG Scholar. That sounds serious. Uh, I have one land. I get terrible opening hands with this deck. I feel 18 lands is a mistake. Power plant, power plant, expedition map. I am keeping this. Definitely topping the expedition map. Oh, Delver will just crush me here with this terrible opening hand. Double mulligan means that most people will crush me most of the time. But I'm not afraid. I'm ready to be crushed. <laughs> I'm trying to still to do arena things. But we have played expedition maps successfully. Oh, it's familiars. That's a bit fun. Um, I really want to bolt that thing. Maybe that's a priority. Over getting Tron actually. I'm gonna act like it is, it is a priority. And I get a mine for my troubles. So bolt that thing, get a tower. Oh no, two of them. The plan remains the same though. Because they stack fairly well. Let's uh, do the bolt thing. And get the tower at the end of the turn. And then nothing because I don't have any of those fun lands either that I can draw. Uh, that will help me cycle. I think the land base is terrible compared to Avignon's old deck, which was much better. So now I will have Tron. I will be all dressed up and I will have nowhere to go. Getting tower. This could end in some terrible familiars mess. That will be interesting to see. I love it. I have tower. It is my turn. Look at that. I cast stirrings. Hopefully I find something nice. I find a prism. At least that's something. Meaning that I get a card. Which is good. I have call on mana. I'm really not worried about that. So I will play the signet. And the map. And I can use that later because. Nothing is happening. I don't even have a creature that I can fan graph. So he could very well go off soon. With a pile of stuff. At least he's not dropping Muldrifters yet. What do I want? I think I'm looking for Fangraph here. Because that will offer me some uh, card advantage. Eventually. A wretched griff sounds super good here. Please don't counterspell it. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, we got griff. 
We can play the Femgraph so we can actually get it back. Should we need to. So now we have a blocker, which is nice. But we have no way to stop his combo. So he is flickering here, gaining a ton of extra cards. Which is of course terrible for us. We could also easily go off here. Kill the familiars and start doing some damage. Given that we are playing four Fangrim Marauders, we don't really care uh, about our life total. We don't have anything to Fangraph because the Wretched Griff had the bad taste of staying alive. There's also no use in attacking. So we are pretty much stuck doing nothing here, which sucks. All the man in the world. The guy has six cards, so he is ready to go off. Now he has seven. He's going off any second. Okay. This is some action, but it really doesn't do much. It's just a fatty. But I'm not gonna fat chain Fanger Marauder. It could easily get counterspelled here. And now I'm quite surprised because Familiar doesn't really pack counterspells. But um, we can Fanger, we can uh, Haunted Fangraph in and bring him back again, right? Not with that, we are not. Uh, so we Fangraph him. And we have all the mana to cast him once again. Now exclude would suck. Here he is again. How do you feel about that? Don't exclude him. <laughs> I mana leaks him. So I am starting to wonder if this is just a control deck. And if it is. I am not really worried about it. Because I am fairly hard to control. Given my enormous amounts of mana. I'm not saying that this deck cannot be controlled. But uh, it is tough to control. If he is supposed to keep up counter spells here. He uh, can't really play Maldrifters until next turn. And his creatures don't threaten me a lot. So I'll fangraph again. What do I get? I want to get... <laughs> I, I, I didn't really want that. I wanted the other guy. But let's do it. Fangram Roller keeps coming back. Diabolic Edict is surprising over Shainers. Uh, could mean that he has Shainers as well. He does have Flicker, so I feel that he has the combo. I think I have 12 disposable artifacts. That's not that many. It's not so many to motivate four Fangrim Marauders. Oh, there's Shainer's Edict. I think four as assembly workers would be better than four Fangrim Marauders. That's what I think. What do you think? Do you agree? I am being controlled here. Where are my or where is my army of Maldrifters? There is a stupid lightning bolt. I will use it like God intended it. Or oh, he can just re regenerate, so that's not an option. 
but when he taps out it is an option and he has a hard time not tapping out I really revealed my hand there I have no problem with colored mana I have four sources of colored mana I am doing quite well here but I'm also being controlled and look at that here is my Maldrift there but now I feel like it will easily be counterspelled. How many counterspells do you have? It's just a regular counterspell, but uh, it's enough to get him. And I can't bolt, and I only have two turns to live. So I will be controlled, but what will happen in the second game? I don't think I have a very strong side, but I have Reaping the Graves. That will wreck this guy. But I think I've lost this. Here, okay, I can get uh, a Haunted Fangraph. The last one, right? Let's use it. If I get a Muldrifter here, could be off to the races, but I am pretty sure he has another counterspell. Oh, <laughs> of course, the the, uh, the graveyard was gone. Doesn't matter. That one was lost. Reaping the graves come into play. And nothing else is really efficient. I don't think Electricker is very powerful, but it does kill the familiars. But this is just four cards. And maybe I'm cutting a Fangra Marauder here. And I still think I'm heavily favored in this matchup. And I had a terrible draw. I had double Mulligan as well. If you remember, look at these starting hands. What's up with this? What if I use stirrings here, but then I end up uh, doing nothing, so I think I have to mulligan it. This one is perfect. I'm keeping it and uh, I'm bottoming that because I do have Tron. Very quickly. Then I need to draw some business, but... Um, Business will come. We're getting mine at the end of his turn. And he's doing the aqueduct dance. Meaning that we end up 7 to 2 in mana here. I'm getting Ursa's mine. And it's time for me to start digging here. Uh, let's um, do the stirrings thing. I do want a self-assembler here, I think. It's nice to have colored mana, but self-assembler attack will keep him Occupied, I think. But then we need to stir again to find another land. Nightscape familiar, meaning that self assembler actually lives. So let's stick to the plan. Stir. Find. Oh, there's a land. And I am looking for 
an expedition map, I think. And then we play power plant. We do play a Maldrifter here. Here's Mr. Maldrifter. Nice. Didn't expect that. Though I did know about it. But no worries. We are setting up reaping the graves here. <laughs> With one Maldrifter. Okay, this will take some skill here. There is definitely danger of losing. So we need to play this self-assembler while we can, I think. So we attack. Hoping that he blocks and taps out. So we have free reign to do stuff. But he doesn't. So we play the other one. And now we could reap the graves for both of them. Can we even cast? Is it enough? I think it is enough. So I reap the graves. For two. Interesting. Maldrifter. It's just two targets, so self-assembler, maldrifter, self-assembler, maldrifter, self-assembler. Okay. And then we burn this for a colored mana. And we are ready to go. We do have 11 mana here, so we can cast both cards next turn. He, wow, I wonder if he has um, that Innistrad card. He's gonna flicker it. Sweet. That's a lot of cards for our friend. He hasn't played land yet, so he has a counter spell here. There's not any blocking going on. Uh, I will need this. I attack. And I play the self-assembler. Which he counters because he does not fear the Maldrifter like it deserves to be feared, I feel. Sweet. Okay, trading Maldrifters now seems pretty good. Because he has Flicker and I don't. So I will happily trade Maldrifters. 
or sacrifice it because I have reaping the graves. Uh, now reaping the graves is uh, feeling pretty bad. Okay. Uh, I will cast Prism. Tower. Attack. He's down to three spells. And he kills this guy. So now I can't get rid of my graveyard. Which means I can both reap the graves here for the rest of my cards. Which I will, I think. How many spells were that? Three. Look at that, this is another spell. I get back the whole team. Three, a black mana. Reaping the graves for Maldrifter. And he gives up. Sweet, that's how we win. Uh, do we like the sideboarding? I think we do. Circle protection blue is quite obnoxious. Maybe it has more impact than a lightning bolt. I will bring in one and try it out. Okay, on to the third game. I'm five minutes behind, but I do have 12 mana. And I do get uh, Tron, which I uh, am really happy about. Tron every time, that's hard to fight against. Look at that card. I'm not sure it will help. I'm sure he has a combo somewhere. But I did replace a lightning bolt. So now if he has an imp, lightning bolt would probably be better. But unless the imp is second turn, I think it doesn't matter as much. Here comes the aqueduct. So I am getting tower and it's a good day in Tron land. I'm going for the old classic uh, Prism Maldrifter and this pleases me to no end. He could still mana leak the Maldrifter. No! Oh, he plays that thing. That's great. Okay, I'm getting tower. You know the drill. You love the drill. And here we just go crazy. We're gonna have to discard, right? But uh, that's uh, that's positive problems. We're gonna have to discard two cards. But I will resolve this Maldrift there. I'm gonna have to discard one card. And it's probably an unknown source. Nice. Please spend your time killing my guy. No, you doesn't. You don't. You really want to resolve that circle of protection, right? So I'm gonna bait a counter spell with self assembler, and then resolve it.
God, so many options. Uh, but here is the self-assembler. Get encounterspelled. I don't know. How good is this? We shall see. Please kill the Maldrifter so I can start reaping the graves. I love to reap those graves. I would have liked to kill that Nightscape familiar. Maybe it was a critical mistake to bring in Circle of Protection Blue here. But there's another one. Okay, I should be able to do some damage. I'm drawing two cards. Or more. Maldrifter is attacking. Uh, what about self-assembler here? Fangraph self-assembler. But I think I just want to draw cards. I am kind of looking for another Maldrifter. There's a Bolt. I have four mana left. Now five mana. Uh, four mana. I will bolt something. Draw a card. Bolt you. Um, play double expedition map, perhaps. Now I will burn this thing as well for green. For self-assembler, that's nice. Play an expedition map. I did play a land, right? But I am getting a tower with this map. Oh, that felt good. The rest. That sucks. Now I can't reap the graves anymore. But I can have a field day with all my fan graphs. And I think he will have a, have a hard time winning. And it does tap out, so it's Fangraph, it's uh, Assembler Party. This looks pretty good to me. I imagine what uh, uh, Rolling Thunder could do here. Can I get all three Fangraphs out? Uh, I mean, self-assemblers. I don't think so. Is there three mana left? It's 10, 12. No, we're one mana short, right? Mr. Self-Assembler. And his friend, Mr. Self-Assembler. And no. And this guy. Okay, that felt good. Now I can actually circle myself should the need arise. But I think the need will not arise. I will sacrifice the Maldrifter hoping to get it back. He plays a Maldrifter, those are strong. But not against me, they are not. Now I can actually block the self-assembler.
but that's all he can block. Can't regenerate. The rest is me showing why the rest is not very good. And I just attack full force. I do wish I could expedition map for cards. I keep saying that, but it's so powerful. Now expedition map is kind of bad, but of course we do have the femgraph thing going. But this is my attack. Hope somebody dies so I can fan graph all of them. Mm, he is giving me peace and love. This looks pretty good, I'd say. Okay, so we burn this star. Looking for a card. We find a bolt, that's fun. Remove his pesky thing. And now we go digging. Please, Maldrif there. Oh, stupid self-assembler. Uh, how many? We have seven mana left. So it's just, we have nine mana left. So I think we're just playing the self-assembler. We did play the tower. So we're getting Femgraph at some point, but not now, doesn't matter. Keep up circle mana. This is fairly strong. He's very limited in mana. And he keeps using it to scry. This is, do you understand now what I mean with uh, that this is hard to control? He did do a good job in the first game. But this is hard to deal with. Maybe it's two edicts. Yes. Oh my god, that was rough. Yeah, very sweet. Now I have to use circle protection blue. That would kill my time, I think. I'm still getting a fan graph for future use. Please give me something good now. God, how can a land with 18 mana just draw mana? But I have Fangraph ready if he kills me. I think maybe he's now in control. But I took away his mana reduction, so he needs to both kill uh, the assembler and remove it from the graveyard. That's hard to do. Nothing is happening. He's saving a counter spell, but uh, I am beating him down pretty severely. He's just taking it. So let's do the double Fangra Marauder dance. 
and I have all the mana in the world. So I will just fangraph it and play it again. <laughs> Which is fairly powerful. And here it comes. Uh, note, uh, notice how they have not gained a single life point in this game. Fanger Marauders. Okay, you have double Shainish Edict. Then you are safe. You can flash it back. Oh, five life. Yes, thank you. But he did have double Shainish Edict. And my, maybe now I am controlled, but and I will lose on the clock. So circle of protection wasn't the right thing to bring in. But it taps out. So all I need to do now is to top deck my Rolling Thunder. Or a Maldrifter or anything, really. All of my lands are almost in play. No, they are not. I should speed up. Um, Christ. I'm getting another fan graph if I have one. It's the last one. But now I am uh, fully open to his stuff. And slow on time. I think I'm losing this because I am... Uh, I'm kind of rusty. Playing the deck. Because I, I fell behind so much on the clock. Maldrifter getting evoked and uh, flickered of course. F6 doesn't work anymore. Somebody told me that. Oh no, he's getting a billion million cards. Can I deck him? He's way ahead on cards, but I don't have the time to deck him. Uh, luckily he's not attacking me, so I don't have to use my circle of protection. But I don't think... How do I yield the turn? Yield through this turn. Why did I change that? Oh, reaping the graves doesn't feel very powerful now. <laughs> oh no. Uh, here's the thunder. Do I use it? I think I have to gather a critical mass of cards. He could just dress it though. Um, I think I'm gonna thunder him for six. Or for eight. Um. Okay, thunder for eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I didn't have the counter spell. Nice. Well, sometimes stuff just works. That was a very interesting game. I am undefeated with this deck. There are two extra matches on the 
Uh, on the reserve channel, because uh, the opponent quit, because they hate this deck so much. Thank you for watching.